the SOHO01 trial, which looked at sevabertinib. This is a HER2 tyrosine kinase inhibitor. They looked at two cohorts. The response rates were remarkably similar in those two groups, about 60%. It's a Sachi trial comparing the combination of salvolitinib with osimertinib versus um, chemotherapy in uh, patients with EGFR mutations with MET amplification. It was a positive trial in favor of the targeted or double targeted approach. Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Sosinski. I'm here at ASCO 2025 with some exciting updates. The first one I'd like to talk about is the SOHO01 trial, which looked at sevabertinib, which formerly I called BEAR088. Uh, this is a HER2 tyrosine kinase inhibitor. This study was in patients with HER2 mutations. They looked at two cohorts uh, with the phase two dose of 20 milligrams twice daily. The first cohort was a cohort of patients that had been previously treated but not exposed to HER2-directed therapy, and a second cohort of previously untreated uh, patients, again, all with HER2 mutations. The response rates were remarkably similar in those two group groups, about 60%. It's a little bit early to look at the duration of response in uh, progression-free survival as the median follow-up is actually under a year, so stay tuned for that data. The side effect profile was somewhat predictable in the sense that it had mostly skin and GI toxicity. One thing of note was a higher rate in the previously treated patients of grade 3 diarrhea. About 20 or 24 percent of patients uh, did have grade 3 diarrhea. That was not seen in the previously untreated uh, patients. So this response rate uh, in the early data with regard to its durability really uh, was the justification for the SOHO02 trial, which is a phase three trial in HER2 mutation positive patients in which they are comparing uh, sevabertinib uh, to uh, platinum plus IO based uh, therapy in this population of patients. So that trial is just starting. And I think an important phase three trial in this molecularly selected population of patients. Uh, we had also three abstracts in uh, patients with EGFR mutations who had failed prior TKIs. The first one was the Sachi trial, looking at a subset of these patients with MET amplification, uh, comparing the combination of salvolitinib with osimertinib versus um, chemotherapy. It was a positive trial in favor of the targeted or double targeted approach with regard to response rate and progression free survival. A second trial was looking at sastatuzumab, which is a trope 2 antibody drug conjugate. This was in a population of EGFR mutant patients that had both uh, received chemotherapy and TKI, either sequentially or together. And sastatuzumab was compared to docetaxel. Again, the primary endpoint was overall response, I believe, and there was a tripling of the response rate with sastatuzumab versus do docetaxel, as well as a benefit in progression-free survival. Lastly, I think many of us had been hoping for patritrimab deruxtecan uh, from the Herthina trial. Uh, unfortunately, although technically this was a positive trial and that it met its primary endpoint of progression-free survival, it did not meet its overall secondary endpoint of overall survival, and uh, its uh, BLA has been withdrawn from consideration at the FDA. So we'll have to wait, uh, hopefully, for some subsets that might benefit from this. So uh, stay tuned in, in the future. Uh, thank you all for listening, and I hope this was helpful to your day-to-day -day practice.